Yo, yo, it's your boy, the Kid Blast. We up here at Firehouse Ignite. I'm with a very special guest, S.G. Ali. Big Ali, man. Oh. She was just telling me about the, 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 the family she got. They all rapping, all her siblings rapping. Most of them. She got her sister on her new song coming out. That's really her song. That's really her song. That's her song. That's it was up. just so, so raw when she was doing it. I texted her in the midst of her recording it, like, let me get on it. Because I already she told her. She was in the booth and you was outside? I was like, damn, this shit just too raw. Like, and I already told her, like, we ain't going to do no song yet till you pop. Mm. Till you get hot and your name hot where it need to be. We ain't going to do no song. But that shit was just can deny it. I'm like, I got to get on that. Mm. That's me type shit. I love that type of energy, too. It's like undeniable. You yeah, that. like, it was just, I got to get on that. That's what's up. And then that single you dropped before that, that was that, uh, that No More Breaks. Right? That was the last one you was pushing real hard. Yeah, that was the last one I was pushing real hard. That was my letting them know I'm back. Yeah, I like Not that even song. back, because I ain't go nowhere, but it's like letting them know I ain't taking no more breaks, because I'm known for that. Known for going and stopping, but letting them know I'm coming out of gas. Like, ain't shit or nobody going to stop me. Mm. And then that um, that Wish I Would came out. Was that before that? That was right after. That just right dropped like that. last week. Mm. My, my brothers, Millie and uh, Phil. Yeah, loose screw Millie, right? How did that? How did you? How that song come about? Shit, we gang, so we done hit each other up. Let's go to the studio and some shit like that. Mm. And that we really made that shit from scratch. Mm, Nine oh five, put the beat together. We was fucking with the loop, put that bitch together. Millie laid it down, I laid it down. Lil come on that bitch tweak it. Who made the beat for that? Nine oh five. Nice. He was major in V Mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my boys. Yeah, nah, I definitely I know major from back in the day. Um, that's what's up. Y'all got any more songs in the vault, or that was the only one y'all got to? Hell get, yeah. That's what's up. Hell yeah. We gonna hear any of that coming out soon? Hell yeah. We fucking the sum up, man. That's they gonna hear up. a lot of that shit. Um, who, who do you be mo working with mostly on the beats? I was, well, when I was with my label, I was tapped in well, heavy with, um, Seth got the waves. Okay. So now I'm really been fucking with this nigga named Toretto Bag. Mm. I really don't even want to say who I be fucking with. Right. Not on no, not on no trying to stop they work or nothing, but people be hating on me and they probably get the call on my boy telling them stop sending me beats or something. <laughs> so I don't even want to say who I really fuck with because people be hating me trying to stop what I got going on. But I fuck with Toretto Bag. Like, that's the main nigga I've been listening to right now. That's fuck what's with. up. Is there, uh, is there any artists that you've been trying to lock in with as far as, uh, you know, collaborating with? Just really the guy. That's I'm trying to do out. more do more work with my people. Like, I, I'm open to work with anybody in the rack, but like I told you, the music scene just too wacky and too much dick pulling and side picking, and I ain't with none of that shit. So if a motherfucker want to work with me, then I'll work with him, but I ain't really finna be reaching to nobody I feel that. at this point. Um, what, what was the first song that, like, really got you viral, that really got you put on? For Dito, Remix. Okay. Well, that's what, that's what made my name, that put my name out there. The first song that went viral was, i say, Could've Made It. Mm. Make it, Could've Made It. Who made the beat for that one? YouTube. <laughs> Man, I swear to God, everybody digging in the trap. At that YouTube. time, I wasn't really paying attention to, I didn't really know, you know, paying attention to the producer, giving them credits and shit. I was dropping shit for free anyway. Right. So I didn't even pay attention to who really made that. I ain't do nothing but just push the video anyway. So I ain't really put my all, my all into the beat, the producer. What, what, what song, song you, would you say out of your catalog would make someone who's never heard of you a fan, you know what I'm saying, if they heard it for the first time? It's a sleeper. One of my songs that I really put on my tape that I think it makes so many people a fan of me. Is the song crying out? Crying out. It's a sleeper. Mm -hmm. They sleep on it. Maybe because I ain't shoot a video, but it made the it made my track list on the tape. The label even fucked with it. So, but I think it's it'll be that. But out of my catalog, that's everybody know. Damn. I don't like to be sounding arrogant and shit, but like, a lot of people just sleep. They have one song for me. Mm -hmm. It's up. Indeniable. Uh, are you still signed to them? No, I'm independent. What what label? What label it was called EQT. EQT. They based out of uh, LA. Independent label. I think they was on the Universal or some shit like that. I feel that. And y'all just, just parted ways. 
Yeah, it was it was some shit about like um they reconstruction and that shit. They dropped a lot of people. Yeah. But you know, it was, it was a blessing, blessing of disguise at the same, same time. time. I feel like it kinda always is. Yeah, because I thank them though. I thank them like in the experience. I lot I learned a lot of shit from being with them and just the few years I was with them. Like how to move, how to operate. So now it's like by me knowing that, I feel like I don't need a label. Yeah. I just need to work and work, grind, and keep my own bag. That's what's up. So what's, so are you sh are you gonna shoot a video with that song you did with your sisters? That was next. Hell yeah! I, I ain't that ain't gonna be like right right next next because I got other shit that's ready to go. Already. Ready to go, you know. But it's coming this summer. That's like up. whole summer, I'm fucking so, them up. So what, what's what's in the pipeline as of right now? What's what's next on the on the chopping block? Uh, I'm thinking about. Maybe one of these for the dude y'all tonight. Nice. Definitely one of them. Then yeah, I gotta, they first, they yeah, they gonna hear here first. So one of those for sure. I got like four new songs that's coming out mm. before I even drop another a feature with my sister. Okay. You know, I got like four new songs before I even do that. But that's dropping this summer, so they could definitely be looking in for that. We don't even got a name for it yet. Okay, for sure, that's dope. So I, I know you from Cabrini Green, which was. For y'all that don't know, one of the most, you know, dangerous they know. You ain't got housing projects in they all of America. Know. Everybody know the grid. Um, were you, how, was you around when the towers were still up? Like, yeah, was you? I was born and raised in that shit. So I'm saying, like, what year did they, what year did they tear the towers down? Well, they started, what that was, that auto. They been, my mama told me the first building, they was knocking down before I was even born. That's but they problem. stopped. Okay. So yeah. they took a pole on it. But then they started knocking it back down, like, 2000. We was in like fourth grade when they started knocking the buildings down. I was in fourth grade, That's like fourth, true. fifth grade. I was still on the second floor in my elementary school when they was doing that, cause we started doing documents. So I think it was like, what grade we was? In? What year that was? I ain't been in school in so long, huh? Mm -hmm. Ten, 2010, on bro. So I ain't been in school in so long, so my numbers kind of off. But, but they been start. I didn't even know that that they been start knocking the shit, been headed in plans to take it away from us. They let us get a good. They let us get a good time in that bitch for like my era. We was the last ones to feel, to get a feel of everything that was there. Yeah, man. Was your, has your family always been there? Like, has your family been there generations type shit? Still got family though. That's that's what's up, man. I I remember like, cause I'm originally from LA, so like I moved out here probably like seven, eight years ago type shit. But I just remember when I came out here the first time ever, I was a little kid and we was driving to downtown. And I just remember looking out the cab to the left and just seeing this tall ass project building. They had gates on the balconies and shit. I'm looking at like everything. It's like, it's like two in the morning. We just landed. It's, it's a playground, like a little playground outside and it ain't no kids. It's just grown ass <laughs> men sitting on the playground. And I was like, damn, this shit like a fucking movie, bro. That shit crazy. Yeah, everybody know, everybody know about us. We was the ugly side of downtown. We was the ugly side of downtown, but we downtown. Yeah, that, that's, that's what's interesting that's to me. Like, yeah. now that gentrification is basically putting like a sweet green and an insomnia cookies in the hood and shit, like, how is, how is the dynamic down, like, now? Like, I feel like... Man, the, Chicago don't even feel the same without, not just, just Cabrini, right. but like, I got to see a lot of my city other than Cabrini and a lot of other projects. Like, I was in a, a lot of other projects, so it's like, Chicago ain't even the same without the projects. They made it worse. Now everybody divided, put all over these places. Like, I got motherfuckers I grew up with, they on this side of town now, and they something else, you feel me? Like, and then motherfuckers over there, but we all grew up from same place, same environment, but it's just different shit. But motherfuckers like me, we still in Cabrini. Like, it's still Cabrini. Like, Cabrini not gone. That's what people don't know. Yeah, no. A lot of people think because the building's gone. That's right. not, Cabrini, if you look on the map, it's we still there. Yeah. It's still say Cabrini, it's still people in Cabrini, still people on that block. You can still visit Cabrini to this day. Yeah, for sure. Ain't going nowhere. I, I, I was not too far. Like, I was basically around the neighborhood. Like, like I said, I was, because there's a, there was a fucking a place where you could pick up food from, from like a bunch of little restaurants and one little kitchen or whatever, like right, right around the corner from there. And I was like, yo, I'm driving through, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this is where Cabrini's, like. Was Cabrini's you ride right through there. right now, man, it's. New buildings, all yeah. type of, the shit really ugly. Yeah. It's really ugly. The apartments and shit, but it, it looked better. Chicago looked better with all the projects. 
Man, I feel you. So, you, you ever hear any? You, you ever hear any like wild stories from like your, you know, what I'm saying your uncles or your relatives from back in the day about like, you know, what I'm saying? My mama told me a lot of crazy stories, but it was them that the same shit that you really seen on the TV that they tell you about us, yeah. gangland and all that shit. My mama them had to sleep in rooms where no windows at night because the gangsters shooting. A lot of shit like that. But people don't ever say the good side. The good side. You feel me? Like, people only think, like, it's crazy as you think of Cabrini right now. You would think, like, okay, if they still out there, we can't even, like, if you're not black or something, you can't even walk through, bro. People walk through our stuff freely, and it'd be, like, tourist people, and they'll stop and ask us questions, and people be so shocked, you know? But people don't tell you about the good side, and growing up in the right, not the right, in the projects, it was, like, it was safe. People didn't know that it was safe for us. They didn't do shit just like anything. Aggression was really towards the government and the police. Right. They made us look like bad. Of course, we so gonna look bad. Why, part of the why, you know what I'm saying? They turn that shit down because no, nah, they tore it down because money reasons. Well, that always too the development bringing the downtown back into the it fuck that the too. We people. black people in projects was making money. We didn't need jobs. Projects was making more money than minimum wage could ever pay, bro. <laughs> we making more money. Niggas was making millions in these projects, bro. Not just Cabrini, bro. Like, that's another big okay. reason Mayor Daly took these yeah. projects down and got his bitch ass out of office. You know? That's, that's, that's definitely an I always hated Mayor Daly for that. I think a lot of people in Chicago. I hate the fuck out of him. I don't even use the word hate, but I hate him, bro. I hate Mayor Daly. Yeah, he got a, a lot of, man, a lot of mayors in the city don't have a very good reputation. They all kind of got him. a shitty reputation. He fucked everything up and left. He fucked this bitch up and left. That's what the fuck he did. Yeah, yeah we, could, we could definitely analyze that forever because obviously every city got their faults, and especially with gentrification and, and crooked politicians got their hands and all kind of shit. Um, but, uh, do you ever feel like you you got to put that in your music at all or you just or or you feel like you know I feel like it now. Mm -hmm. I was just telling my homies like people some people know where we from and a lot of people sleep on the fact that we still there. Like we still here, we ain't go nowhere. So we still at a point I feel like I got to wake people up again. Mm -hmm. I got to wake them up again, let them know it's still shit going on. We still around, we ain't going nowhere, and we going to be around. To, they can't even knock the shit that we got down. How they gonna get rid of us? Yeah. So now I feel like we gotta represent. It's bigger than Chicago to me. Mm -hmm. I gotta represent Cabrini more than I represent Chicago. That's how I feel right now. I gotta represent my hood more than I represent Chicago. Honest to God. I mean, now is definitely the time to do that for sure. Gotta keep hitting them with that with that heat to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I'm gonna fuck the summer up. It'll be a cold summer. Um, do you think? Do you think it's difficult, you know what I'm saying, for a female with more of a masculine energy to get recognition in this rap shit? Like, because most females is going the Nicki Minaj route and not so many on the young end. Well, now you got a lot of girly girls talking game, like how I talk. That's true. You like got, and all of them. Yeah, you got Lamelo and yeah. all of them. They talk our rap. That's true. But it's just, I don't think. Barbie to the gangster scene. I like that. I like that. But. I don't think it's coming to a point where females running the game. Game. If I'm a masculine like me, a younger man. Like that's the only thing really people can say about us: our sexuality. Right. You know. So it's really nothing more you can say. I really come from what I'm rapping. Right. So whether I'm a female or not, right. you know. So I could turn niggas to fans right. with the shit that I'm talking. But it's just like I say, the music game. A lot of dick pulling. <laughs> a lot of dick pulling game. Like no that. bout. Well, shit, man, I appreciate you for coming on here and and being honest with us and, and, and talking to us and, you know what I'm saying, showing Cabrini Green a lot of love. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Big gonna, CG, man. You going to drop some heat for this Fire Escape Freestyle? Yeah, yeah, let's rock it. Let's get it poppin'. Let's get this bitch rockin'. Rock. All right, good one, man. Good looking. Damn.